its mechanics in miniature over on Steve's bench as he is busy calculating how to get the 1960s toy car roadworthy again. I've just got to make up the wheel bearing, which shouldn't be too difficult to make. I'm just going to use bushing wire, and, and this is used for uh, clock bearings, so I'm going to put it into my watchmaker's lathe and, and uh, turn it up so that it will all fit in place. Almost there. That's one piece, just make sure it fits onto the, to the wheel. Good. I've just got to make the other unit now just to hold the linkage and, and then we'll see if it all works. Meanwhile, Steve's asked Kirsten to use her colour matching prowess on the scratched bodywork. Although this looks like it's a sort of metallic grey, I think it's probably got a little bit of blue in it as well. So I remember using these paints many, many years ago. I used to make up those sort of model aeroplane kits. And actually, I was never interested in the planes or the, the boats. What I actually really loved was just the painting <laughs> at the end. So. Right, let's see what this looks like. So I've turned up the other part of the linkage or the drive shaft and, and also made up this bent wire which is also part of the linkage or, or drive shaft as well. So I need to just pop that on. It's a bit fiddly. So the drive shaft, once I've got it all in place, will drive the wheels from the clockwork mechanism. I'm just going to pop that in place there. Push that in tight so if I pop the wheel on do up the nuts. Now that should drive the wheels, which it does. Fantastic. It's always nice when you get something working when it's been broken for years and years. With Kirsten's now gleaming paintwork and Steve's newly working mechanism, it's time to rebuild the pocket racer. Hopefully, it's all just going to fit together nicely, hopefully. Screw this up. Just going to put the, the final wheel on. I don't think I'd get a job on Formula One uh, pit crew. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Now the fun begins. I know. I've just finished it. I'm just going to test it. Ready? Yeah. Oh, now that is smooth. That is smooth as an F2 car. Nice. I think Julian's going to be made up. He will be. Just... Well done you, man. Yeah, it was hey? good, good fun, actually. Yeah. But i tell you what, I have done some research of these cars. Yeah. And basically, when they came, they came with a key, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and a spanner. The spanner. Look at that. Ah, oh, right, that's for changing the wheels. That makes it easier. That's right. So, what I was thinking, is it possible to make one of those for him? Yeah, that'd be good fun. I'll send you the picture so you've got a reference. Yeah, Brilliant. yeah thank you. All right, no problem. Okay. <laughs> 